Ching ching. Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for coming back. So today we are doing a chit chat, get ready with me, Q and A, get to know me video. Um, I haven't really done, well obviously, I haven't done a Q and A get to know me video. Um, I was kind of trying to wait until I got like a lot of questions from my Instagram followers. So if you follow me on Instagram a few weeks ago, I put up um, ask me questions. I'm going to do a YouTube video for a Q&A get to know me. So I did get a few questions from you guys and I'm going to answer them in this video. So if you're interested, keep on watching. I also um, kind of let y'all know a little bit about me. Some questions that people didn't ask, but I just you know, volunteer the information because I want y'all to know a little bit more about who you're watching. So if you're interested in this makeup look, and if you're interested in getting to know me and see if I answered your question, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so let's get this show on the road. So we're going to start with the first question. Um, I'm going to be doing my makeup this whole time, so let me just prime my face. And then I'll get into the first question. So I'm going to be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I go back and forth between this one and the Silk Canvas by Tatcha. My skin is like really sensitive right now because if you've been watching my vlogs, then you know that my esthetician has me um, doing this at home peeling bleach to help with my skin. Um, it's supposed to be like a at home chemical feel. So my skin is like really sensitive to everything right now. It's kind of red and just kind of going through it. But it is peeling. It is. It has been working and I have definitely seen a difference in my skin. It feels like so much better. And my um, like acne scars are lightening up. While we let that marinate, let me get to the first question. By the way, I didn't really get that many questions. So if y'all want me to do another one, like if I didn't answer something in the video that y'all want to know, just, you know, tell me that y'all want me to do another Q&A. If y'all want me to do another Q&A later on down the line, like this video or comment down below your question and I'll just save it for next time. Before I get into the questions that y'all asked me, this is a get to know me video. So I did want to kind of let y'all know a little bit about me. Um, people didn't ask these questions. So it's just like a little, a little extra info about me. So y'all know my name is Tatiana. <laughs> um, I am 26 years old. I'm a Pisces. Woo! Period. The best sign. Okay. We the best. We got the best hearts. We the best friends. We sweet and everything. Loyal. All that. Okay. So I am a Pisces. My birthday is March 1st. Um, like I said, I'm 26 years old. I'm from LA, but I live in Atlanta. Um, I've been here since 2013. I came here to go to school. I went to Clark Atlanta University. Woo, CAU in this thing, HBCU made, okay. I graduated in 2017. I have a degree in public relations and um, I have three siblings. I am the only girl, I am the youngest. I have three big brothers. Um, all my family's still in California, so I've been here since I came out here to go to college. And, hmm, what else? Yeah, so that's pretty much like a little bit about me. Um, I like to travel. I like makeup. I like hair. I like getting dressed, getting cute. Um, I'm really into fun facts. I love anime. I love playing video games and I'll be working out. <laughs> Let's get into it. So since I primed my face, I'm going to do something a little bit different. 
Um, my Estee Lauder Double Wear is my absolute favorite foundation, but I'm actually out of it. It looks like it's some more in here, but I think I'm out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my Huda Beauty foundation stick. This is in the shade Toffee, and I'm going to mix that with this um, Cover FX foundation. This is the Power Play in the shade N80, Neutral 80, because I'm kind of neutral, but this one's kind of warm. I guess it's golden because it's 420 G so I like to mix these so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one on and then I'm gonna mix my other one so the first question is what do you like to do for fun so what do I like to do for fun on a regular basis I like to do brunch. Brunch is my absolute favorite thing to do. Brunch and going out to eat. Like, I'm always down to go out to eat. I swear, like, I, if I could go like every day, well, not every day. I'm not gonna say every day, but if I could go like every weekend, I feel like I do go every weekend, but if I could go every weekend, I would. Like, seriously. I love going out to eat. Um, I really like fun, adventurous stuff. I don't really do too much fun stuff, but um, I like it. Like, I like to go to like Six Flags. Um, I love game nights with my friends. Game nights, if you're trying to get whooped in spades, if you're trying to get whooped in Taboo, if you're trying to get whooped in Phase 10, hit your girl up, okay? Um, my boyfriend says I'm competitive. I guess I am because I don't like losing, but I really don't be losing. So, I mean, that's just the tea. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like playing games. I like having game nights. I like going out, like, doing couple stuff with my couple friends. Um, I can really, I'm really down to do anything um i would love to go like camping i would love to go like to the botanical garden um what else the only thing that i won't do i'm pretty much down like to do anything but the only thing that i won't do is skydive i am not doing that shit i'm sorry <laughs> like i no yeah skydiving i won't skydive and i probably won't bungee jump either i can't i'm sorry it's like too scary for me it's too scary when you're jumping out of a plane you don't know what's gonna happen with that parachute so i just can't do it i'm sorry anything else i'm down for going out i really don't like to go to the club but i like to go out to eat and i like to go to like lounges or like um brunch brunch is my favorite my top and i love to travel i really 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 like to travel like i've never been on a girl's trip so i want to do that um i usually just travel with my boyfriend so i would definitely be down for traveling um going out to eat bowling game nights that type of stuff you know oh and shopping can't forget about that i love to shop girl okay and i like to cook too that's one thing i left out like i really love to cook um i would go to a cooking class or i would just cook on my own i really do like to cook too so those are the things that i like to do for fun so i'm just about to put some concealer on this is the Too faced born this way concealer um in the shade warm sand so i'm just gonna put this on so the next question that i got is who is my favorite designer now i really was trying to think about this and honestly um i'm like okay i can name like a couple of brands that are like my favorite designers but then it's like okay it's only certain things from them that i like like for example the first thing that came to my mind was dior um, I really like their brand. I like their bags. I like their shoes and I like their clothes. I like their like printed stuff. So that's why I'm like, okay, you know, I like them, um, but I don't like everything from them. So it's like, okay, is it, you know, like I really like their stuff though. So I would say Dior, 
um chanel i really 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 like chanel like the the outfits the like blazers and skirts louis vuitton i really like louis vuitton i like their bags i like their jewelry um so yeah those are probably my favorite designers um on like a i guess designer designer type of level it would be dior chanel louis vuitton i don't know those are like those are my top favorite designers like on a high fashion well-known type of scale but of course my favorite designer is my nigga like my boyfriend he's a designer he designs everything all his clothes and that's my favorite designer period okay go shop with us i'm gonna say us because we a team you know go shop with us we are logics.com okay so i'm just gonna blend out my concealer let me get the next question so the next question that i was asked is are you an introvert or an extrovert okay so i kind of struggle with this um kind of but not really when some people meet me they say that i'm an extrovert because of my personality um like how i'm acting like i remember just a few months ago um this we were out at um our trainer's event and this girl was like look at you like you're working the room talking to everybody and i'm just like you know i'm trying to like talk to all the people that i know i don't just want to stay in one spot and just talk to like this these people over here that i know like i want to talk to everybody so i was like but i'm really an introvert like i'm really shy and i say that i'm an introvert because i won't talk like i'm really to myself i don't really have that many friends i won't like go out and like do stuff on my own like it's crazy because I've never like been out to eat alone. I probably, let me not say that. I've been out to eat alone one time, um, but I don't really like being um, like around a lot of people and I don't know them. It makes me kind of uncomfortable because I'm not the type that's just going to like walk up to people and start talking to you if I don't know you. Like if I don't know you, I won't talk which is kind of um a good thing and a bad thing i would say it's a bad thing because career wise it's a bad thing because i need to network and i need to talk to people in order to you know kind of not be successful but just like get my foot in the door be able to work the room be able to talk to everyone be able to you know talk to people about me who i am what i do build relationships with people and it's so weird how i feel like i'm an introvert and i'm scared to talk to people and my major was public relations like i have a whole degree in that which is kind of part of the reason why i don't pursue that career field because i get kind of like what am I gonna say or I don't know what to say I don't really know how to go up to people and introduce myself talk to them and stuff like that um so I really am to myself um I have to feel the room I have to feel the vibe if the vibe if I'm not feeling the vibe I'm to myself I won't talk if you speak to me I'll speak to you but I'm not out there I'm not an out there type of person but if I'm around my family or my friends people that I know I'm laughing talking joking dancing all that so I feel like there is a word for both extroverted and introverted people like both too there actually is a, a title for it um so I really feel like I'm that honestly so it just depends honestly on the environment I gotta feel the vibe so lately, since it's been the summertime, I, have, I haven't really been contouring. I've really just kind of been putting bronzer on. So I'm just about to set where I concealed and kind of let this sit a little bit, just for a little while. So the next question, I look crazy. This is a lot of powder. 
But I need this powder, y'all, because I be having small lines. So the next question is, are you, and this is so crazy because it kind of like matches to what I just said. Um, so the next question is, are you in your career goals or are you still working towards them? And the answer to that is simple. I'm definitely still working towards them. Um, I am definitely not in my career goal that I would want to be. The job that I have now is not the career that I want. Um, it's my job now and I'm grateful for it. I'm thankful for it. I never thought that I would be doing what I'm doing. And it's actually taught me a lot. Um, but ultimately, it's really not what I want to do. Um, what I really want to do is YouTube. I want to be a full-time entrepreneur. And I want to get into real estate. And I also want to have my own, like, clothing brand. Well, it's not really clothes. It's kind of like undergarments, I would say. Like, you know. Um, but if I could do anything, it would be YouTube full-time. Um, so I'm still, I guess the question, the question to the second part of that is I'm still working towards it. I've started my channel. Um, so the next thing is just to move up, build content, stay consistent, stay disciplined, work hard, build my channel up, grow my channel so that I can do YouTube full time. And then once I achieve that goal and I'm able to do YouTube full time, then YouTube will fund my other endeavors. Um, I'll be able to invest in property, I'll be able to invest in my other businesses, but I want to be a serial entrepreneur, billionaire, self-made. That's what I want to do. So I'm still working towards that. So, yeah. Okay, I brought y'all in a little closer so y'all can kind of see better. Um, so yeah, I just pressed that powder into my skin. So now I'm about to do my brows. So I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. If y'all see my reel on Instagram, then y'all know this is what I use to do my brows. And um, also if you saw my other makeup video, then y'all know this is what I use to do my brows. Um, if you haven't seen my reel, go check it out on Instagram. I went viral y'all, I hit 60K. It's actually like 60.2 now, I think. Um, but yeah, I went viral, y'all. I'm so excited. And speaking of brows, um, one of the questions that someone asked me was, can I do a brow tutorial? And I definitely can. I definitely can. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a brow tutorial on Instagram or if y'all want me to do it on YouTube. I can do like a quick little YouTube video or I can do like a quick little Instagram video for my brows because I really don't do too much. Um, I just really use this and concealer. And I'm so glad I got my freaking eyebrows done because I hadn't got my eyebrows done in like three months. This is like the quick version of me doing my brows. I really um, kind of take my time when I'm doing them any other time. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to ask another question and do my brows. Alrighty, so just a little quick tip too about the eyebrows. <sighs> when you get them done, they look so much better. Like I got my eyebrows threaded and they look so much better when I fill them in than if I'm just like filling them in and they're not um they're not done so the next question is can chasing love or being in a relationship while trying to grow a business work so my answer to this question is yes um it can work you definitely can have both I definitely think that the relationship can work. I am a firm believer of you can have you can have everything. Like it's not with me. Like I don't know. I just feel like I can have it all and I feel like whatever I want 
one thing that I want isn't going to stop the, isn't going to stop me from getting the other thing. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type of person that's like, okay, if you work hard, you can save and live your life. You can save money and travel. You don't have to just save, 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 work, 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 no travel, don't spend your money, don't buy nothing, don't do anything. I'm it's like, no, I'm against that. I feel like if you work hard and you're making money and you can afford to do things, do them. You can have both. You don't have to wait until you have a million dollars in your bank account, until you have $10,000 in your bank account to buy you a shirt, to go out to eat to go out the country like no you need to live your life like live your life do everything that you want to do and you can have both I'm telling you like I definitely feel like it depends on the people as well um because growing your business if you are an entrepreneur and you're growing your business and you have somebody um that you're in a relationship with they have to be supportive and they have to be understanding if they're not supportive and if they're not understanding then the re the relationship is not going to work because you need support from your partner because if other people are supporting you and your partner is not it's like what are you here for like what are you doing you know like it's a partnership and you have to help each other succeed because in the long run like y'all are a unit y'all are a team so if my business succeeds then we're both succeeding at the end of the day um because you're with me so of course i'm gonna do stuff for you i'm gonna take care of you we're going to be you know reaping the benefits of my business growing and being successful i just think that um the other person that's not the business owner has to be understanding like okay we may not be able to go out because they need to work or um i may need to fill some orders i may need to do some promo take some pictures promote be there whatever they're doing like for instance if they're selling clothes and they have a pop-up shop i need to be supportive be at that pop-up pop shop promote buy their products like you have to be supportive and you have to be there and you have to under, be understanding like oh we can't do this because they gotta do this you know what I'm saying and for somebody that don't want that that doesn't want to be with somebody that's working late that doesn't want to be with somebody that um is focused on their dream then it's not gonna work because that is something that they're passionate about and I would never want to stand in the way of you doing, following your passion, following your dreams. So, like, don't let anybody stand in the way of you getting to the bag. So, that's my answer um, on that. And a lot of people may think, um, like, oh, you need to become successful and established before you settle down or before you get in a relationship and then on the other end some people may feel like no because if I am successful and established before I get into a relationship how do I know that this person is really here for me and not for my money or my business you get what I'm saying so um, it just really depends on the person, the people, I would say. You have to make sure that they have your best interests at heart and that they're supporting you for the right reasons and not trying to gain anything from supporting you. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to stick around because I know they're going to blow up. And when they blow up, you know, I'm going to be with them and I'm going to be living the life too make sure that the person that you're with genuinely supports you is honest gives you feedback helps you um when you need when you need it i don't feel like you should be with someone that isn't interested in what you're doing 
what your business is, what you're passionate about. And I'm not saying they have to like everything, buy everything, because you can you have the right to you know not like something or you have the right to it just not be your thing like for example if i want to do a shapewear business i'm not gonna expect jt to be buying it or to be wearing it like he's not going to wear that stuff or buy that stuff you get what i'm saying so he can support me in other ways and I expect him to tell me his opinions about stuff like, oh, yeah, this is good or, you know, not, you should do this or you should try this. Like, you should do this different. But I definitely damn sure expect him like, well, YouTube, that man better be watching all my videos. That man better be liking, commenting, subscribe from both all his channels. He better literally be up to up to date on what I'm talking about. Um, posting on Instagram, telling people about my channel, the whole nine. Because he knows that this is what I want to do. He knows that I don't want to be at my job. And he knows what I need. I talk to him about, like, this is where I'm at. And I need to do this, this, that. Like, y'all got to encourage each other. Y'all got to communicate. Y'all got to talk to each other. So, y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a relationship advice video. Because I got you, okay? I've been in my relationship for five years. Feels like 50. So, I will definitely tell y'all some things. Fun fact, I don't know how to swim. Um, I need to learn how to swim. I just really honestly feel like it's a survival skill. The fact that I don't know how to swim scares me a little bit. And also, it just makes me feel like it's a survival skill. I definitely need to learn. And I feel like in my last makeup video, I told y'all that I was supposed to be learning this summer. So, it's still on the way. But I really need to learn how to swim. Um, I just want to let y'all know, I just used the Sephora Micro Smooth. And I'm about to just bronze my face. Um, like I said, um, the last couple of times I've been doing my makeup, I don't know if it's because the summertime and it's very, very hot outside, but I haven't been using cream contour. I've just been kind of lightening up my makeup a little bit. I haven't been doing, um, contour. I've just been like bronzing my cheeks and, um, I used a lot. Well, not a lot, but I used a good amount of concealer today too but i haven't really been using a lot of concealer either i've been trying to like keep my makeup light because it's very hot it's like very hot outside in atlanta now i'm just going to set my under eye with this um mac what is this c6 studio fix powder i'm just gonna lightly put a little bit where I put concealer, so on my chin, I'm gonna kind of put it there a little bit to give me kind of like um, a contoured effect, and then I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I just have to put some blush on so I think I have one more question um, I'm gonna try to kind of figure out how to formulate it because the way that it was presented to me is not really like in question form um, but I guess it is um, about engagement or ideas um, I guess that's like as far as putting content out what I would say is I'm de I definitely need to work on mine as well um i'm i'm definitely doing better than i was um but i there's always room for improvement things are always changing so one of the things that i can say as far as like your engagement in your content when you're posting is you have to keep up with like the trends and when i say that 
is because these apps are consistently changing so you have to like keep up in order to kind of like stay present on social media so right now the thing on instagram is like tiktoks reels um detail pictures stuff like that so you need to if you've never done a reel or if you want to learn how to do a reel you need to start practicing so you need to promote whatever you're you're into so if you're doing makeup if you're doing fashion do a fashion reel do a makeup reel stay present on social media you have to post consistently like the algorithm be tripping people be forgetting about you people don't see you so you have to consistently have a strong presence on social media um you have to post you have to keep up with the times um keep up with the trends um i don't have a tiktok but i said i was gonna make one because i know that that's hot right now i know that you can get um a lot of engagement off of tiktoks you can get a lot of engagement off of reels um also if you are like super serious and you have the money i would say invest in someone that um is an expert and those types of things like they have people that can help you with marketing they have people that can help you with your content um also you can pay for like ads and stuff so if you have a business and you're selling a product pay for the instagram ads pay for the facebook ads so people can see your product you know um also i would say look at what other people that are doing the same thing as you or the things that you want to do look at what they're doing and kind of like make it your own um so if you want to i don't know do hair and you see somebody that's successful on social media they have a good social media presence and they do hair look at what they're doing look at who they're following um look at if they're using hashtags how often they're posting you know what i'm saying um do your research but i'm gonna um highlight with the desi x katie this is the dose of colors highlighter chasing the sun i haven't used this in a long time um it's really good i like this so i'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheeks i'm not doing too much of the highlighter these days do you see that don't play with her just just don't like she's she's fire okay i'm gonna use today i'm gonna use probably these powder kiss lipsticks by mac so i'm gonna do my tweety it's like a like a peachy nude and then my tweety i mean impulsive i may not use that one that one may be a little dark so i think i'm just gonna use my tweety um for today's look and i'm just gonna use my kkw beauty lip liner um so back to what i was saying about social media um like i said i need help as well um it's like i know things that i could be doing or that i should be doing um but i am lacking because I don't plan my content and that's another thing you need to pre-plan your content I know that they have apps that will post for you sorry I can't talk and like do my lips so let me just line my lips really quick <laughs> um, I know that they have apps that will post for you um, at certain times you can already have like the pictures ready yeah so you can already have the pictures ready to go they just 12 o'clock post two o'clock post monday post this wednesday post a reel thursday post a picture they have apps like that also um try to film more than one thing in a day like for me i work a nine to five so i know when i get off of work i don't be feeling like taking a picture or i don't be feeling like filming for youtube even though you know it's my dream and what I want to do sometimes I get lazy or I get tired or I'll just be like I'll do it on the weekends so I try to on Saturdays and Sundays try to film a lot of things that way I can edit during the week post the video 
maybe if I'm going out that weekend, I'll take a picture so I can post it. You have to like kind of like pre-plan your content and film your content or take pictures or whatever you're going to do. Maybe you may have to do three videos in one day just so you can have that content already filmed and then you can just push it out because it's hard trying to post a picture the same day that you take it you know and it's hard to try to film a video edit the video post the video that same day and then you got to worry about it again so that's my advice try to pre-plan your content I would say monthly if you can't do monthly maybe do like a week in advance or two weeks in advance that's how I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to the point to where like all my August content is already done and I'm in August I'm worried about September in September I'm worried about October so I can be ahead and I can stay present on social media and also um, when it comes to engagement I feel like you have to be interactive with the people that follow you so when people comment, comment back. If people leave you a nice comment, like it. Um, if people repost you, say thank you or repost or like answer the questions that people are asking you. Um, so people will be, won't think that you're just like posting or like, you know, not, in, not, not engaged with the people that are supporting you. So that's my advice on um engagement i hope that i answered that question the way that um you wanted because it was kind of like worded weird i'm going to set my face with the morphe setting mist i wanted to spray some more and then i'm just gonna like and dry So we are done here. I look really cute, if I must say so myself. So yes, this is the end of my chit chat. Get ready with me Q and A. I hope you enjoyed my Q and A. I hope you liked this makeup look. It was really cute and simple. Um, so yeah, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do another Q and A. If I didn't answer your questions or if you think of a question from this video and you want to ask me, I'll film another Q&A later on down the line. Just let me know. Um, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Your girl is halfway to 1K. Halfway to 1K, y'all. We are on the way to getting monetized, okay? Ching, ching. All right. Um, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching this video. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.